Trans West truck, trailer, RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. My name is Larry Vickers. Today's video is gonna accomplish a couple of things. First, we're gonna take a look at one of the used haulers that we have on the lot today. And secondly, we're gonna talk about maintenance and upkeep after the sale. So this is a 2019 Freightliner M2-112. This truck has right at 30,000 miles. The conversion is Western Hauler. Now, as we take a quick view from this side, just a couple of things to point out as we get going. First, if you can notice the lighting that's on the truck from here all the way across. So when you're traveling at night, this vehicle really lights up. Something that's a little bit unique about this truck compared to others is the size of the fuel tanks. There's 110 gallon on this side and on the opposite side there is 70. So you have 180 gallons of fuel as you're in your travels. If, right here is the DEF tank. That holds up to 13 gallons of DEF and data is showing they're getting about 300 to 325 miles per one gallon of death. So as we walk forward, we'll take a look directly in front of the truck. So a couple of things to notice. First is the simply the size of the grill. As you can see, that's extremely large. Well, the engine that's underneath that hood demands that much air intake, which is why that grill is so large. As we come on down, one thing to notice, the headlights, they are only for dim. So um, if we need brights, you flip the switch to bright and it's actually this light bar right across here. So if you find yourself in an open road and there's nobody around you and you wanna kick the brights on, that really makes a lot of the terrain visible from the truck as well. Finally, fog lights located here and here. Now let's pop the hood. That is the Detroit D13 engine. It offers 505 horsepower 1,650 foot-pounds of torque. It is coupled with the Allison 4000 TRV transmission. Now we did briefly mention that we're gonna talk about some maintenance things, and there's things that, that you can sure do. I mean, antifreeze located here, power steering fluid right here, and that's some things that you can check in your pre-travel inspections to make sure that everything's up to snuff there. And this hood attaches right here, and there's one just like it on the opposite side. As we start to go, we see the Western hauler decal located right here. The tires on this truck are Michelin 255 70 R22.5. Underneath here is the block heater. We're sure getting into that, that time of year where that's going to come in handy for a lot of folks. Now, as we take a look inside the driver's seat, the truck does come with air ride and we can adjust the seat right here. The truck comes with a kill switch located right here. As much electricity is going through the truck, it's generally a good practice to get into to go ahead and shut that kill switch off when you're done for the day. This pedal located right here is to adjust the steering wheel when you're sitting in the driver's seat. And from here, we can also get a shot of the trailer brake. Now, 
as we move along and take a look in the back seat. Now this seat does make down into a bed. The switch for that is up by the dash and I'll show you that when we get in. But this seat goes all the way down so it makes a bed. And I checked with DOT that does meet requirements for a bed. And as you can see, some of the things are a little bit different than the summit haulers that we produce in terms of the type of leather. If you notice there, here, and the door panel is also a little bit different, but it really dresses the truck up. As we continue, let's focus on the bed of the truck now. As you can see, it comes with two storage components on this side. And when we open the first one, the batteries are right there. So they're very easily accessible. The truck is also lined on the bed all the way throughout the top. As you can see, it comes with the Reese hitch. And as we walk on through, we can see where that the lights hook up. Now, as we continue and view from this side, I'd like to show you how these truck and trailer kind of look together and this really gives you a good representation of what this truck is designed to do in addition to that this really nice travel trailer is for sale and if you have any questions about it please feel free to call us another thing is I picked out the trailer for a reason I mean these two look really nice together if you can see they, they match up pretty well so if you are in the market for both I really have seen that GM step up when you purchase a combination like these two. As we take a look inside the passenger seat, again here's our adjustment for the seat. We have access to the cab air filters right under there. Taking a look from the ground into the passenger rear seat, we can get a good shot of the DVD player. Furthermore, we really get a chance just to see how much room and space is available in that truck. Now we'll crawl on in and take a closer look. Okay, we'll start at the top and work our way down. Right here is the switch for the back seat, as I mentioned, to put that up or put it down into a bed. There is a light in the back of the truck as well. CB is located here. As we come on down, we've gone through uh, switches and gauges a lot in previous videos, but we're still gonna touch on a couple of them. Um, for example, right here is our engine brake now that one's important to us i mean we live right next to the rocky mountains so if we kick that up on high when we're coming down a sharp decline we actually have 500 horses coming back at us so obviously that makes things safer for you and your family as well the backup camera for this truck is located right here this little dial you'll see right here actually um, adjust which camera you view. For example, there's two in the back and there's some cameras on the sides as well. So by adjusting that dial, it'll tune to the desired camera that you want it to be. Cruise control is located right up here. As far as the gauges go, one thing kind of unique about this truck is we can see our air filter level right here. Now this switch here is called the dump valve. So that will let air 
out of the back of the truck. For example, when you go to hook it up, you let the air out back underneath it and put the air back in, that bed will simply rise back up to hook up the trailer. And our climate control is located right here. Now I did mention we were gonna talk about maintenance after the sale a little bit, and I got with the service department and got exactly what they use, okay? So there's two types of services you can get on these trucks, the A service and the B service. Well, recommendation is, is that you rotate these. For example, if we had the A service, the 10 to 15,000 miles later, when we come back for another service, we're gonna wanna use the B and then back to the A again. So just showing you some of the things that they do in the A service, um, they focus mainly on the tractor, completely lube it, replace the oil, uh, air filter, fuel filters, check the levels and uh, fill the washer fluid. Now when we do the B service, things get a little bit more in depth. Uh, the complete service of the chassis, as well as the oil change and the filters. But if you'll notice on the back, there's a 35 point inspection that they go through as well. And we're not gonna go through all of them, but from check the windshield on down to um, the check for air leaks, things of that nature. So it's a little bit more thorough than the A service, but it's not something that you need to do every time. And in terms of when you should get the service done, a lot of that, guys, depends on how you drive the truck. For example, if you're going border to border, you know, and kind of being out on the open highway, you can actually go a little bit longer, 15 to 20,000 miles, compared to short little quick trips, or if you're in big cities running a lot, then you want to get the services done uh, more quickly and make that the distance shorter in between services. But a very nice truck that we have on the lot today, this is stock number 5U211657. If you have any other questions, please feel free to give me a call. The cell phone number 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Feel free to email me at larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.